sometimes you find a very uh, popular book in a yard sale or garage sale and this is where I got this book it cost me a whopping 10 cents about 28 years ago it's still a favorite I'm going to read this book skunks go to bed to my granddaughters Ember and Callie so the book is called skunks go to bed it's by Ted Bailey and it's illustrated by Lisa McClue so there's three skunks Winter had just come to the woods. Old Bear put on her nightgown. Chipmunk climbed into bed and Badger blew out his candle. But the skunks slid on the ice. They sang silly songs and laughed in a silly way. Skunks, go to bed, said Chipmunk. It's winter and we all need to rest. Not us, shouted Willie, Wally, and Lulu. The skunk, they banged on their drums and tap danced on the frozen pond. The skunks continued to act silly and keep everyone up for the next two nights. What can we do? asked Badger. Send those clowns to the moon, yelled Chipmunk. Oh no, said Old Bear. We just need to put the skunks to bed. Listen, I have a plan. The next day, Chipmunk took a note to the skunks. It said, Winter party at Old Bear's house. Skunks will perform. Oh boy, that's us, said Lulu. That night the skunks took off through the woods singing, A party, a party, we love a good party. The skunks had a wonderful time on the way. They shook the snow off the trees and they frightened the birds. Oh. Hi, uh, said the skunks when they arrived at Old Bear's house. It was nice and cozy and warm. All the animals greeted the skunks as well when they came in. Some animals were sitting around the fire. Others were talking and nibbling on food. Hi, shouted skunks again. Wally skunk put a lampshade on his head and danced around the room. Lulu told loud silly jokes in a loud silly way and laughed in a loud silly laugh. Willie bragged about his tap dancing and went around slapping everyone on the back. Time for refreshments, called Badger as he passed around mugs of steaming hot chocolate. The milk made the skunks a little sleepy, but they tried not to show it. It's okay. Attention everyone, said Woodchuck. I'd like to ask our friends the skunks to dance. Yippee! A tap dance, said Willie. Oh no, Willie, said Old Bear. I only have slow records, so please do a nice slow dance for us. Just dance on your toes. Old Bear put on her favorite record called Swan Lake. The skunks looked at each other and began to dance around the room on their toes. The skunks grew just a little bit more sleepy, but they tried not to show it. When the dance was over, the skunks clapped for themselves. Play faster music now, said Lulu. Drums, yelled Wally. I'm sorry, dear, said the old bear. I have no drums. I only have these three harps. Willie, Wally, and Lulu looked at each other and began to play the harps. They grew even more sleepy, but that made them try even harder not to show it. Let's sing a song now, said Badger. Jingle bells, said Lulu. Oh, I'm sorry, dear, said old bear, but we only know the words to rock a bye baby. So the skunk stood up and sang very loudly, rock a bye baby, oh baby, oh baby. Oh dear, said the old bear gently, let's sing the song a little softer and let's sing the right words, please. So the three skunks sang very softly, rock a bye baby in the treetops. As they sang, the little skunk's head began to droop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock, and their eyes began to close. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. Soon the skunks were sitting on the floor. Down will come baby cradle and all. At last the skunks were sound asleep. The animals put blankets over the skunks and pillows under their sleeping heads. Good night, silly ones, said Old Bear. See you in the spring. 
After everyone went home to bed, the woods were finally quiet. Except for some very loud snoring. That's the end. I love you. Bye.